All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Districts are coming to a close, and by the end of the night, each district championship match will be set. Heading to McGoffin County for the 57th District Tournament. Up first, two top 10 teams in the 15th region, Sheldon Clark and McGoffin County. Each team has one win on the season against one another, and tonight they will battle it out for the final seat in the district championship. The Hornets got the game off to a quick start with a give-and-go play where Jaron Lovely passes the ball, then slips through the back door, drawing the contact and finishing with the layup. Sheldon Clark's Dylan James gets into the game early from deep. This three-pointer coming off of a screen, and he goes back to back. Same spot, he will sink it once more, and the Cards take an early seven-point lead. McGoffin County's lovely lefty is on the attack for the Hornets. He escapes losing the ball twice and then slips, gathers himself and hits the fadeaway jump shot and the Hornets on the climb. The deep ball was on tonight for the Cards though as Ethan Osborne steps into a pass and knocks down a three-pointer. McGoffin County's Trenton Russell gets in on the action. He pulls past his defender and hits the jumper in the face of the defense. And it was a one-point game for McGoffin County, barely escaping for the second time this season. Final score, 54-53. The Hornets advance to face off with Johnson Central in the 57th District Championship on Friday. It was a 59th district thriller from the T.W. Oliver Gymnasium from Pikeville High School as the East Ridge Warriors and the Shelby Valley Wildcats took the floor for the third time this season, each team with one win against the other. The latest, just a one-point victory for the Warriors. Who will strike first? Dawson Clark tries to go for three. No good, but check out the hustle and the rebounding skills from senior Michael Kahn. Warriors get on the board first. Shelby Valley looking for their first basket. Blake Burke gives it to them with the layup. The longest lead in the entire first half of the game was just six points, and the Wildcats score six unanswered. Blake Burke again too easy, but East Ridge's Dawson Clark has to break the rut. From the wing, three points, cutting the lead to just three. Moving to the second quarter, the Warriors yet to lead in this one, a defensive battle, no doubt. Climbing their way back to the top, Chris Bevins from the top of the key. They are only down by two at this point. That gets the fans on their feet. Next possession to the basket, Jordan Keene, and we're tied. Warriors allow junior Tanner Bentley, though, of Shelby Valley to drive inside for the easy basket. And Eastridge looking for an answer, and they do it on the next possession. Chris Bevins once again, and the Warriors take the lead for the first time, but another lead change. Orby McPeak from the pocket, and this game was nothing but a fight to the finish. Another one-point thriller tonight as the Wildcats win it 37-36, and they will go on to face Pikeville in the 59th District Championship on Friday.